about that giant creepy worm thing? If it's still alive, I'm getting the hell out of town. Don't worry. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You! You did that worm! Was that was you came out of it like you were inside it and then you, you came out? That's amazing. You doubted me, Peter Quill. <sighs> now, what's wrong, man? You look pretty down for a guy who just defied death. I was merely reflecting on the circumstances. The creature did not give up easily, our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? Okay, I'm sorry. Are we talking about the same worm here? I mean, look at it! That is a big worm! That's way bigger than Thanos! I mean, of course you felt good killing it. Indeed, it was the largest foe I have ever vanquished. But I do not see how size correlates to satisfaction. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kamaria. I think I am... Afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I do not know how to proceed. You're going through some really heavy stuff, Drax. It's okay to be afraid. I have never faced a problem like this. One I could not simply kill. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try. For someone who says he wants to die, you suck at it. Like, I don't know what to tell you, Trax. Maybe, uh, maybe you're just invincible. Of course. I must be invincible! But this only makes things worse. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family you can't escape that fate forever. Eventually, you will see her. But that doesn't have to be today, Drax. Perhaps it is enough to have something to look forward to. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey, guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Yeah, well, it's what's on the inside that counts. The inside is also atrocious. <gasps> How dare you? Expecting any calls today? Star Lord, you must know why I am contacting you. Admit it. Admit what you have done. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? 
Ugh, you know who this is. Hala, the accuser. You have taken Baldin hostage. And I want him back. I do not know how you did it. But I want him back. Now! Yeah, no. You, you definitely have the wrong number. You are a liar. And a fool. Mother! Well, look who it is. Please, Mother. Just do as they ask. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him in any way, I will repay it one thousandfold to you. Well, that all depends on you. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your son... No one threatens me! I just did. You are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have always heard of the insolence of human beings. But meeting them in person is infinitely worse. Oh, I... So... What? What's that? You're... Bring... Ugh, enough. Speaking to you is futile. I am coming for you. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you to run to. She hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me. You're unbelievable, Quill. It seems you possess a unique ability. I've never seen anyone annoy my mother so much before. I fear she cannot be stopped. If you don't stand against her, no one will. I know we've got an alliance, but you can't just interrupt when I'm on a call like that. You're supposed to be a hostage, remember? Oh, I thought it would be more convincing if she saw me. I thought it would help. If she's coming from nowhere, we've got a hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? Then what are you gonna say? Meh. I'm sure I'll think of something in a moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. I'm sorry, are, are you threatening me? Not a threat. A promise. Whoa! You said you'd keep everyone together! Hala is more powerful than ever. And now Drax is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? <sighs> Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? I was working up to it! Work up to it faster next time. He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not! He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his... well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What?! Ah, I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. You call this working out? The Guardians are scattered, Drax nearly got eaten, you almost killed me two seconds ago. Oh, and Hall is out to destroy the galaxy because of me. But despite that, we're all unscathed. So Drax happened to survive. But you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something, anything, at least some semblance of remorse. You're asking if I feel bad? Of course I feel bad. Then why won't you show it? Hey, what do you want from me? 
want me to wander around crying? That isn't my style, Gamora. You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. It's not too late to save Nebula. We don't give up on our own. The Forge is still out there. We can bring her back. <sighs> it feels like too much to ask for yet another chance. But maybe this time, I can finally atone for what I've done. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You have to forgive yourself, Gamora. It's the only way you can move forward. Right. You're right. Hey, Drax. Surprised to admit it, I'm actually glad to see you. I too am glad you have not perished in a violent and agonizing way. Perhaps by sudden evisceration, or Bailanese organ chewing. I once saw a man have his organs chewed. Ho <laughs> ho how we laughed at his pain. Yep. Definitely the same old Drax. Absence does make the heart grow fonder, unfortunately. Welcome home, everyone. I am Groot! Groot says it's so good to see you all. Look at you, Peter. Somehow you managed to get us all back in the same room. I didn't think we'd see each other after last time. Unless, you know, we ended up in the same prison. Again. We kind of made a mess out there. Now we gotta clean it up. We? Okay, some of us made it more than others. Now, I wish I had better news for you, but, uh... <laughs> things have turned into a galactic war zone out there. Yes. Hala has begun killing innocent people to resurrect her army. And she's coming after us next. Hala has the Forge, her son, and an unlimited army. Yet she still considers us a threat? Actually, that's... that's a long story. Baldin, come say hi. Hello. You have taken her son prisoner. <laughs> you are not the pathetic warrior I so often think you to be. Baldin is here to help us. He's a good guy. He promised to play bait for us to lure out Hala. Whatever stops her from what she's about to do, the killing, it can't go on like this. This does give us emotional leverage. But we still have not gained any tactical advantage since the last time we fought her. Hala is heading for nowhere. For us. I'm open to suggestions on how we approach this. Well, you've been on her ship before. I can analyze the readings from last time and see if there's a way to take out her weapons. When in doubt, look to the data. There's gotta be a weak spot or two we can exploit. That's as good a place to start as any. And it's the only plan we've got. Hala isn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to prepare to take her down. I'll be on the bridge, Pete. Come talk to me when you get the chance. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, Groot.
Hey, Gamora. Hey. I wanted to thank you again. What you said back at that training hall, I really appreciate it. If you hadn't have shown up when you did, I don't know what might have happened. Well, uh, thanks for not killing me. Oh, <laughs> come on. I wasn't actually going to kill you. <laughs> yeah, you could have fooled me. So, what was on your mind? I'm, uh, worried about taking on Hala. I know what you mean, but the others look to you as their leader. Put on a strong face for them. Like this? Keep working on it. See you in a bit. Quill, I was waiting for you. I... I wish to apologize. For what? I realize I have not been the same since we slew Thanos. I was so consumed in my emotions that I uselessly sacrificed myself. My selfish act put the Guardians at risk. For that I am deeply sorry. And I hope you can accept my sincere apology. We all got a little emotional. You weren't alone in that. Of course, but it is in your nature to be emotional. You are sad and pathetic. I should be above such petty emotions. I will try to redeem myself once again in the coming battle against Hala. So, that giant space worm, how'd you kill it? It is a heroic tale that people will talk about for generations. I launched myself into the jaws of the worm creature, narrowly avoiding endless rows of teeth. I used my blades to slow my descent, shredding the creature's pulsating throat. Once within its noxious bowels, I detonated the drive cores of six dead ships. The explosion resulting from digestive fumes and flammable fecal matter was the most beautiful sight I have ever seen. Drax, <laughs> you are a beast. I can't believe you did all that. I agree. It was quite impressive. Peter, some may not know this, but when a creature is in its death throes, the sphincter relaxes. I was forced to swim through bile. Gland juices seeped into my nose and mouth until I emerged. Moist. Reeking. Victorious. <sighs> I look forward to repeating this tale many, many times for the others. Later, Drax. What happens later? How's it going, Blue? No, oh, it's a good boy. Or girl. Do space worms even have a gender? It's amazing how much I miss the stars. Being trapped in a circle. Star Lord, I was hoping you might come by. I was ruminating on what you said earlier. Do you believe I could be a good leader for the Kree? Well, you'd be better than Hala, that's for sure. That does not set the bar very high. It's just... I've been thinking about it for some time. And perhaps it's not as ridiculous an idea as I originally thought. I know this is a touchy subject, it happened to me too. But how did you die? Oh, uh, well, years ago I worked at a reactor, mining and producing energy from my mother's war effort. 
There was an accident. As far as I know, no one made it out. My mother is different now. I don't even recognize her anymore. We didn't really get to know each other that well. Tell me about yourself. There's not much to tell. I am Hala's only child. Other than that, there is nothing very interesting about me. Oh, come on, that can't be true. I mean, you gotta have, like, some kind of hobby. I dedicated most of my youth to studying prehistory, as well as galactic law, science, and philosophy. Does that count as a hobby? Oh my god, you are a total nerd. I think that's fascinating, Baldin. Oh, thank you, Mantis. I gotta go. See you around. Peter, hello. I've been telling Baldin all about you. About me? I was just telling him how you rescued me from being held as prisoner back at Emnios, how your feelings guided you to my tomb, and you pried me from my stone prison. I must admit, I did not think you were capable of such chivalry. Perhaps I was wrong about you. Peter is one of the most heroic people I know. Is that so? Yeah, I'm more of a mixed bag, really. A little good, uh, a little bad. From where I'm standing, you're more than just a little good. So, you and Baldin seem to be getting along. I was trapped for years in a sarcophagus, and Baldin has been, well, dead. It's nice to be able to relate to someone and have shared life experience. Well, that is adorable. It's, it's not like that. Once this is all over, what are you going to do? I hadn't considered it. I think maybe I'd like to travel. There's so much I never got to experience when I was locked away. It would be exciting to live my own life instead of laying down inside a box. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. You still owe me 50 units from our last sparring practice. <laughs> I am Groot. I am Groot. Hey, thanks for showing me your memory. Put a lot of things in perspective. Hey, speaking of, what did you show him anyway? I am Groot. <laughs> oh yeah, Stash Lord. I almost forgot about that upper lip atrocity. You ready to kick some hollow butt? I am Groot. <laughs> Wish we were all as optimistic about it as you are. I can't believe we managed to get everyone back. <laughs> I am Groot. Groot says the only reason we're all back is because of you. I'm inclined to agree. Thanks, guys. I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. You had me worried back there, Groot. Thought you were mad at me or something. Hmm. I am Groot. Thanks, buddy. What you got cooking? Yeah, about that. I've been pouring over the scans we got last time and we hit the Revenant. Good news is, I know what we gotta do to take Hala down. Bad news is, I don't know how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have to disable that super gun of hers if we want any chance of beating this. Simple, right? No more gun, no more dead people. I mean, we'll still have to deal with Hala herself, who still might very well kill us slowly and agonizingly. Taking down her gun sounds like explosions might be involved. Are explosions involved? Maybe. Right, so far as I can tell, there's a number of key points on the ship to factor in. Here, 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 and here. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. 
so lay it on me. What do you want to know? Huh. This place looks important. Yeah, that's the computer core, where the ship's system can be accessed. We need someone to hack into the computer. It's vital in getting that weapon offline. What's this? The main hall system. You might not remember, but it was filled with those cryopods. And because somebody charged up the Eternity Forge, all those dead Kree are now alive Kree, and will need to be dealt with. Big ol' hallway like this? Great place for a distraction! What's this one? Those are the access ways to the computer core. Kinda like the hard drive for the ship. If someone don't cover those access ways, reinforcements will be sent straight to the core and overwhelm the hacker in no time. Is that the weapon? Right. I've actually got a plan for this one. It's got a couple of points on the outside of the ship where the energy is focused before it discharges. But get this. These points aren't guarded. They're just out there in the open. Probably because the Kree don't think anyone's insane enough to attack a super weapon head on. Sounds like a challenge. But I think we're up to the task. If by we you mean you, then yes, we are. Wait, what? <laughs> Me? You're the one with the jet boots. I got a slew of homebrewed explosives and deflectors. You'll plant the explosives on each of those energy points, and then when Hala fires the weapon again, boom! It'll blow itself up. And what if they fire the weapon before I'm done planting the deflectors? Just finish before that happens. We need our hacker to take down the shields and clear a way for you to plant the explosives. Someone to guard that hacker from any attack in Kree, and a third person to stage a distraction to keep them occupied. But as far as plans go, it's pretty insane. Then, uh... Suicidal? Yeah, that word. Whatever it takes to get the job done, I'm in. Go! Oh, I almost forgot. We need someone to grab Hala's helmet. Won't be able to trigger the weapon without it. It's probably in her quarters somewhere, so someone will have to steal it right out from under her nose. Well, it sounds like you're volunteering, Rocket. Oh yeah, tell the 40-pound guy to steal the helmet off a Kree accuser. Be serious, Pete. All right, I'll pick who does what. Hacker, protector, distractor, helmet thief, and me. Yeah, and if all that don't work, guess we'll just have to resurrect this guy and have him chop Hala's ships to pieces. <laughs> Good one. That could actually work. If the forge contains enough power, and if we could reacquire it. Well, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll call that plan B. When in doubt, let magic save the day. You know, if uh, this doesn't go our way, I just want to tell you... I am Groot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I am Groot. Really? Pete got in touch with his feelings? That actually worked? I, I am Groot. <laughs> Good one. I am Groot. If we're going to attack the Revenant, we all need a job to do. You're going to be on protection duty. <laughs> I am Groot. Good call, Quill. Groot's always had my back, and I ain't even been shot once. Not once! I'll see you around, buddy. I am Groot. Hey, Pete. Are you sure this plan is gonna work? Nope. But I'm okay with that this time. You guys got my back, and that's all I need. Thanks for sticking with me through all this. I was glad to have you at my side when everything was going wrong. Hey, I don't need you getting mushy on me, too. Groot already fills that role nicely, but you're welcome. I've got a role in mind for you, Rocket. Oh yeah? I want you to hack the computer. 
Logical choice. I won't let you down. Catch you in a bit. Mm-hmm. Home brewed explosives, huh? It is strange to have so many on the Milano now. Worried that you're... So, Rocket has this plan? A just crazy enough to work one? Yeah, the usual kind. Not surprised. So what role do I play in this disaster? I need you to cause a distraction. Keep the Kree off our backs. Okay. I've got a few ideas. Leave it to me, Peter. See you in a bit. You seem different from the other Guardians. We're going to attack the Revenant. There's a lot to do, so I need to divide up the roles. I think this fight is meant for the Guardians. I'll stay on the Milano and keep Baldin safe. I should go. Lots of work to do. Of course. Hey, Drax. We've got a plan of attack ready to go. I've just got to divvy up the roles. Of course. I trust you will grant me the most important job. I need you to steal Hala's helmet. You want me to go all the way over there just for a helmet? Hey, you asked for the most important job. Oh, it is. Good. I am placated. Because I am invincible, nothing will stand in my way. Pete, looks like Hala just entered the system. We're gonna have to hurry. It's now or never. All right, guys, bring it in. So, here's the plan. We're making a run on Hala's ship to take that super weapon offline. I've assigned each of you an important role. Hacker, backup, distraction, and of course, someone to steal that helmet. I will install the explosive, so when the trigger's pulled, the gun blows up right in Hala's face. This will require everyone to work together flawlessly. I do not believe I have seen that happen. Ever. Are you sure this plan will work? Yeah, we ain't exactly got a stellar track record when it comes to plans going our way. We're still here, aren't we? That means something's working. I trust each and every one of you to do what you do best. Now things will go wrong, they always do. But we'll figure it out as we go. We have everyone we need to do that right here. Uh-oh, here comes a patented quill I mean, look at Rocket. Damn it. I should not have drawn attention to myself. There's nothing that you can't fix. I've seen you make technological miracles out of a handful of trash. Literal trash. I mean, that... That's amazing. Oh, Peter, over here. It's me, Drax, the Destroyer. I volunteer to go next. Oh, I could never forget you, big guy. Do not hold back. Tell me what I am. <laughs> oh, this should be enjoyable. A perfect murdering machine who, despite all odds, has become more bloodthirsty than ever before. You... You are too kind, Peter. I am getting emotional. And... Don't. And Gamora. Peter. The most skilled warrior I've ever seen. And I've seen Schwarzenegger, Stallone, and Chan kick ass six ways from Sunday. Thank you, I think. 
I didn't understand any of those things you just said. D uh, and what about Mantis? What about me? I don't know what's going on here. An antenna rockin' lady whose love of life inspires us all. Thank you, Peter. I do love life. And all of you. And last, but certainly not least, Groot. I am Groot. The beating heart of the Guardians. Mm -hmm. I am Groot. Ah, right back at you, man. Sure, we have our differences, but we all share something in common. Arrest records. Trust issues. I am Groot. Dependency on oxygen-rich atmospheres to survive. Not exactly. Because when it comes right down to it, we are all we've got. Life has taken a lot from us, but we're all still here. As long as we have each other, we can beat anything. Hala doesn't stand a chance. That was actually a good speech. Yes! Everyone is feeling inspired. Then let's rock and roll. <laughs>